I remember my mother holding me and shaking me vehemently. And she's like, you must be independent. You must be strong. You must not let anybody touch you or talk to you in the wrong way. I grew up in Iraq, middle-class family, father pilots, mother is a teacher. Life changed when Iraq went to war with Iran. Life and death becomes very differently understood at a very fast age. But it was also around that same period that I learned that um, my parents knew Saddam Hussein. And it was a social relationship. What he liked about my family was the fact that they were not political. Yet everything was political. I remember her, her orders for me was like, do not look at him in the eyes. He knows how to read eyes. I was very conscious at that age. The things that I was hearing from my school about public executions or death, I knew we were all to be afraid from this figure who was a friend. <laughs> I called him uncle, quote unquote, and, and the person to be feared all at the same time. I remember vividly landing in the airport, coming to the airport, seeing him and like having anxiety, like at the first look. I was raped by this man, you know, there's no doubt in myself, you know. And I just remember, you know, I just, I just remember like going afterwards and, the, and bathing and just that, that it's like, okay, it's, this is too much. This is just crossing a line. Really, it was my mom's instructions that gave me the courage to say, this is not acceptable. I moved to Washington, D.C. I fell in love with a wonderful guy who was really a blessing as I was making sense of all that happened. And then Newsweek magazine had a picture of about five women sitting on a bed and looking horrified, and they were rape survivors in Bosnia. And I remember reading the articles about the rape victims, and I just cried and cried and cried and cried, and I said, I have to do something. I call it a training program that entails building her confidence, self-esteem, reminding her of her value. It is about how do you get right into the economy and into earning a living so you can stand up on your feet. I was taking myself to the very same circumstances I came out of war. I was now giving my mother speeches to the very woman I was supposed to help. And they gave me an exchange a lot. In their breaking, in their silence, in their feedback, and the conversations with them eventually led to my own healing. <laughs>